everyone, here I am again. Look at what my friend gave me. Fresh coconut. It's so good. I'm here to show you a new recipe which you probably saw on my Easter bento. Here. I posted it last week and I thought I might make a video about one of the few staples that I put in there. So the recipe I will show you today is some kind of zucchini pancake. It's really simple so you usually always have all the things you need in your kitchen to make this. And they're real nice to make for bentos because they're quick, easy, cheap as well. And most of all they're really really simple to pack. You can make them in the morning and pack them straight away or you can even make them the night before, I mean the evening before. Pack them, put them in the fridge and eat them the next day. Since I still don't have a tripod, I tried to make this um, holding, my, holding my camera in my hands. So sorry if the video moves a little bit. Well, I think that's it basically, so let's go cooking. Bye bye! Now the ingredients. You will need half of a zucchini, cream cheese, one egg white, two tablespoons of oat bran, one tablespoon of oil, fresh dill or basil, lemon juice and salt and pepper. Start grating the zucchini. I like to leave the skin on my zucchinis for the nutrients, but you can peel it if you want. If you do like me, don't forget to wash it before. This is going to be so healthy. Once you're done grating, you can add a little cream cheese to it. I had 0% fat cream cheese that was left from my previous recipe. Then mix the cheese and zucchini together. Now I'm pouring the egg white into the mixture. Let's mix again. Here is the oat bran. I love the taste of it. I put some everywhere. Yogurt, stewed apples, cakes. Oat bran is an excellent source of fiber and it adds this nice cereal taste to your recipes. Now let's sprinkle our fresh herbs. I had dill in my fridge. And finally, let's add the lemon juice. Oopsie! I put a little too much because I was so concentrated on the camera and the video filming. Finally, put a little bit of pepper and salt for the taste. Prepare your tablespoon of oil and pour it on a warm pan. I use olive oil for a southern France taste. Once the olive oil is hot, take a spoon of this mixture and put it in the pan. Make small even circles and let them cook for a while. Once the contours of the pancakes start getting golden, you know it's time to flip them over. But be careful so that they don't break in the pan. It looks nice, right? When they're cooked on both sides, they're done. Just serve them on the plates or pack them in your bento. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will try my recipe. I wish you a beautiful day. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and by the way, check out my nails. I made these from Michelle Fan's tutorial.